Here we pick up the third stage of the implementation of the Portmino grammar for John Portman's house language. This stage is the most involved stage of the grammar and demonstrates how the shape machine can be used to develop a complete articulation of a floor plan in all its details. The rules of this stage start with the definition of wall types. First to specify any wall and then to further clarify exterior walls versus interior walls. After wall types have been developed, the structure begins to be articulated starting from the interior hollow columns. The process then moves to the exterior hollow columns, which are a combination of structural elements and elements to complete the exterior enclosure. The columns on the front of a design are unique in that they're oriented to face outward towards the front rather than opening up towards the interior like the rest of the perimeter columns. They also have a unique detail specifically at the recessed entry which is articulated in this rule. To complete the definition of the structure and the exterior enclosure, the final rule resolves the corner hollow columns. Next, the development of the minor spaces begins in this rule that locates the public stair off the entry foyer. Next, minor spaces adjacent to double height volumes are opened up to continue that articulation of space at the perimeter. The development of the minor spaces continues by locating the half bath and closet off the entry foyer, and then the characteristic relationship for a bedroom with an adjacent study enclosed in a minor space. In this design, there are two bedrooms on the upper floor each a corner bedroom with a half bath in between, and this rule identifies that relationship to locate door access for each of these spaces. This next series of rules focuses on interior details that complete the definition of floor plan by thickening walls for storage, providing partitions off the foyer for privacy, between public areas of the house and the private bedroom zone, and developing railings adjacent to double height spaces. The final three rules of this stage begin with locating the double height fireplace, of which there are three possible locations in this design, then moves to the exterior entry bridge, and finally to removing any remaining labels utilized in the production process. The result is a completed design generated in the shape machine of a house in the Portmino language.